What's going on, YouTube? Me, Wayne Two Six here. I'm gonna show y'all this thing that I have been building, or well, part of it, the, or, or, uh, a feature in the thing I have been building. This is a security system for the Minecraft, and what it does is it um pretty simple, but really, right now I am in the room monitors, so this redstone torch is off. See, that would be me stepping out of the room, and see, now the redstone torch is on, but then that would be me coming back in, and the redstone torch is off. So, what, what this uh, security system is, is pretty much, I have this underground vault here, with rooms and shit, and whenever somebody goes into that, I'm able to tell, using, using this wall of wisdom. So, I'm just going to morph through the walls here. This is the reactor. I'm going to go ahead and flick that on. Uh, um, okay, so, um, where the fuck am I? So, I flicked on the reactor, and, oh, wait, I know I am. So, now when I come in here, uh -huh. see, the reactor is turned up, which means somebody's in there, which would be me, because I just stepped over the push pricks. So the security system is um, useful for monitoring the uh, people, for people that, if you have a building and you want to monitor where people go, well, this is this is a very, it's a good system. You need to be good with redstone though, because um, because um, this this may be a, a bit of a challenge for you if you're redstone intolerant, you know. But if you're not, then this should be just a walk in the park. And I'm pretty sure there's a billion ways to simplify all this, but I don't really know how, and I don't really care. This security system also has a reset switch. You hit it, and the torches come back on, and you're ready to monitor all your stuff again, all over. Let me show you how all this is gonna, all this is wired and shit. So, I have for you a three stations of the three stages that this security went through. The first stage is just pretty basic. You step on it, torch goes off, and you can have the torches next to each other. You can have them up above and shit, hooked up the piston doors and shit, you know, shit like that. So let's get down to how it pretty much works. The main circuit, as soon as the input, as soon as you got the input, that's then traced over to this guy. This simulates a button or a pressure plate turning into a switch, which when this is switched on, the charge now goes over here and then connects to the redstone torch and turns it off, signaling that there has somebody has walked over that plate. And you walk back over, and this goes back over here, so then this charge don't go there, and torch comes back on. Somebody walks out the door, torch comes back on, somebody steps on that, blah, blah, blah. All right, well, okay, well, that is the basic version of it, and I didn't quite like it, because I have all these rooms, and when I would realize that there's all these dots everywhere, I didn't want to go back and step on the pressure plates again, so I implemented... Stage two, this one includes a reset switch. So let's just step on all these guys again. All right, hit the reset switch. Chick sha. But if you hit it again, you can also turn off the torches. So if you have multiple rooms, I realized that this would be a problem. You would get them confused. So, let me show you how this works, though. If you want to st stick with this stage, that's cool. What this does is this sends a charge to your input. So, it sends a charge down to this 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 mechanism, which, which switches it back and forth. So, it just adds a charge into your input which would be like somebody stepping on the pressure play again, but this time you hit the button from a different place, you know. You, uh, you get what I'm saying, you know? 
you, you send you back you send a charge back across this circuit to activate the mechanism. But again, if you have multiple, if you have one on and off and all that, this was a problem that I was trying to figure out how to fix, and I figured out a very simple way. We're here with the last stage of this security system. So somebody steps on your plate, and somebody steps on the other plate. So now you have two. And so when I hit the button, now if they're on, they don't go off. And now if they're off, they go on. And if they're all on, and I hit the button, nothing happens. See, what I did here was I added this guy, this little mechanism, where if this is turned on, it sends a charge to this piston telling it to lift up so when I hit the button you know, let me just show you here so as you can see this circuit is now open allowing a charge to be sent to turn it off but if this if nobody stepped on the plate the pressure plate would be down so when I hit the button to send a charge charge cannot go through there because it's not activated just like that it deactivated that so the piston went down and now I no longer can interact with that. If you got lights all off in random locations, you just hit that switch now and it turns them all back on. And finally, I have simplified all this down for you because that's just fucking confusing for me. Very simple, you can see how this works. The input goes here, goes to that mechanism, the mechanism switches, turning off the redstone torch. But then this charge also goes up here, turning off the piston, allowing for the reset switch to be active, which then switches that and turns back on the piston, allowing for the piston not to send the charge. So I mean, this is this is this is pretty much it. You have to do this if you want to do this security system. You have to do this circuit. If you don't want the reset switch, you can just go with this over here. It's pretty basic. If you want the reset switch. I would recommend that you inquire the piston, otherwise it's just going to be a big mumba jumbo of random lights flickering and shit. So yeah, that's my security system. Uh, All right, so let's monitor where they actually go. Hmm. Oh, somebody's in room four. Oh, they're in room five. They went in and out of room. Oh, they're going. Oh, wait a minute. That could actually be a zombie in there. Let's check it out in a bit. Oh. Right. Yo. Damn it, did he go and put his stuff up? Sure, everybody's goddamn welcome. Squirrel the... Who's in here? The lucky Chiksha. See here? I think that's that. I don't know. Oh, they're in the living co oh, somebody's in the lab. Okay. Just walk around. Just, oh, they're in the atrium now. Alright, living quarters. I'm in the monitors. Teleporters, that's this room over here. I have nothing in there. Just a wall. But I got the door hooked up just for the hell of it. Okay, oh, they are out of the living quarters. In the atrium. Oh, somebody's in room one. Okay. I'm in the. Nobody's in the teleporters. Let's just turn that off now. Somebody's back in the labs. Oh, somebody's up there. Security level? Oh, they try to go down here. Where's he going? He is taking the long way around. All right. So it says there's somebody in the labs. Oh, somebody just went to the reactor. Somebody's in room three. Somebody's checking out those living quarters. Yeah, somebody's in that living quarters. Hmm. All right then. Well, there is the security system in use. I mean, you know. It's it's pretty pretty fucking basic. I mean you can't can't go wrong with this. It's, it's alright. I like it. I mean seeing this, I mean it's, it's pretty cool. I need to go check out the living quarters though. There might be a zombie in there. 
so yeah, you know, smack a like down there, maybe a favorite, you know, you know, likes are always welcome, maybe do a subscription, those are cool, I like those, you should like them too, so yeah, there you go, security system, the Minecraft.